Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the difference between testing and debugging. So, as we are discussed, the software testing is the process of verifying and validating that a software or an application is bug free, which meets the technical requirement as guided by its design and development and meet the user requirement effectively and efficiently with handling all the ex exceptional and boundary cases. So testing ensures the quality of a particular product. And debugging is the process of finding and resolving defects or problems within a computer program that prevent correct operation of the software or a system. So this activity begins after the software fails to execute properly and concludes by solving the problems and successfully testing the software. So the debugging tactics can involve interactive debugging, control flow analysis, unit testing, integration testing, log file analysis, monitoring at the application or system level, memory dump and profiling. So when we come to the difference between testing and debugging, we can discuss the following points. So software testing is the process to find bugs and errors while Debugging is a process to correct that particular bugs found during testing. So software testing in the error debugging in the error correct error rectify debugging. Secondly, software testing is a process to identify the failures of the implemented code. And debugging is a process to give absolution to code failures. Software testing is a display of errors while debugging is a detective process. Software testing is done by a tester while debugging is done either by a programmer or a developer. So, no software testing in the failures in identify and display and all of them. Debugging in the failures identify the failures in a correctiga, errors in a matiga, detectiga, absolutely the correct correct program like kondu vannal adine debugging nu vilikka testing eppozhum software testing eppozhum cheyyana oru software tester aayirikkum ennal debugging cheyya ennalladhu oru programmer no developer no maatrave sadhikkathullu and the software testing there is no need of design knowledge in the software testing process while debugging can't be done without a proper design knowledge so software testing can be done by an insider as well as an outsider while debugging is done only by insider outsider can't do debugging but now software testing nu vechayal onengil ee software develop cheyna aalku thanne venamengi cheyyam adallengi porathullu oru team nu endu cheyyam software nu test cheyyam enna debugging angane alla Debugging in or another other developing or a matrave debugging chiam patatolo, portun in the Nikinora curriculum debugging procedure like Kadakanator Sadikatilla. And the software testing can be manual or automated. While debugging is always manual, debugging can't be done in an automated way. And software testing is a stage of software development life cycle. While debugging is not an aspect of life cycle, it occurs as a consequence of testing. So testing in the quality measure and at the SDLC step will be a stage. Now, this stage is not the error of the error. This error is not the error of the error. That's why we have to say that the SDLC is not the error of the error. But the testing is not the error of the error. The procedure is not the error of the error. And next is software testing is composed of validation and verification of the software. While testing is composed of validation and verification of the software. Debugging process seek to match the symptoms with the cause by that it leads to the error correction. So testing in the validation and verification of India no another debugging and allah either error correction, error ne bug gale, tetigale, or debugging in the procedure. And finally, testing is initiated after the code is written while debugging commence with the execution of a test case testing another or testing stage kajinal alleng or coding stage kajinal thirchi ayittum cheyanda or procedure aanu debugging ennu parayunnathu testing eppozhaano nadathunnathu eppozhaano testing inde result kittunnathu adinu shesham nadakkunna procedure aanu idu debugging ennu parayunna procedure 
so hope you had understood the difference between testing and debugging and some of the tips to make debugging process more effective are prioritize the bug reproduce the bug do not assume things work the way they are meant to and fourthly know the error code and finally if we are stuck in a particular code ask for a help so when we prioritize the bug the first thing you have to take into consideration while debugging is the user experience prioritizing the bug helps us to know how much the bug affect our user and determine which bug should be fixed first second one is reproduce the bug that is make sure that we have reproduced the original bug before making any changes if we are not able to remember what we have done before then the original bug remains unsolved in our program third one do not assume that things work the way that are meant to and next point is know the error code so some of the common errors that may occur are the error 404 404 that is the error 404 means we have the wrong url in our application and another common error is 401 that is our credentials are likely wrong and another one is uh, error 418 that means we are talking to a unknown entity and another error is 429 so error 429 represents we are making too many requests so these are the common errors so we should identify what are the common error codes available and the fifth one fifth point is very important if we are completely stuck in a particular error ask someone for a help if we have no idea to solve the problem and we are facing and feeling very demoralized we should ask for a help take a break and approach the bug from a different angle get more aggressive with the tracing and logging like search engines forms and other powerful way we can adopt and fix the problem from our peers communicate with our professionals and solve the problem with their help so these are the major points or major tips that will make the debugging process more effective so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through these assignment questions the questions are first question what is debugging second one differentiate testing and debugging and thirdly brief the tips to make debugging process more effective so my dear students in the upcoming lectures we will discuss the software quality assurance matrices see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best